Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grbeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called There's This Girl and this game was made in only 36 hours for the Stanford Fall Game Jam, which was a game jam that encouraged people to learn how to code, which is really, really cool. I like the idea of that. I love that the game industry is constantly adapting and evolving. That's really, really awesome to see. But this was also made by Angela He, who's made a a bunch of my favorite little visual novel experiences there's I woke up next to you again and you left me which were two really surreal very bizarre visual novels I thought they were really really cool so I'm I, I have really high hopes for this one and this one I guess it's about two girls who meet and they start looking at the stars together and it tells their story so anyway let's go ahead let's get started here uh, okay you click the logo there is we have this girl sleeping here. She's got a little pug-like charm on her phone. That's so cute. All right, number one, begin. Now, how many of these are there? All right, it looks like there's five little chapters. Okay, cool, cute. Let's go ahead. Let's get started. Oh, I fall in love. Oh, cute. <laughs> I fall in love too easily. Uh, what's it want me to do here? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so it's like a little comic strip. That's so cool. So you just click and you drag and you get to the next scene. Oh, this is so cool. Kaboom, they ran into each other. I didn't know that there was gonna be like any sort of dialogue uh, being read by the game itself. That's funny, or sung, sung by the game itself, I guess. Big old clunk. Oh my gosh, look at this girl. She is awesome looking. <laughs> Aw, it's like love at first sight. Oh, they're so cute. I like them both. I like their character models, their uh, designs. Uh-oh, a little book fell out of her hand when she ran into her. It's a stargazing book. It's about the constellations. Oh, what are we gonna do here? We have the same book. So cute, very, very wholesome. Oh, and they're talking about stars. That's adorable. Oh, it won't let me do anything. Do I click the stars? Oh, cool. I, oh, I, col I, I see, I connect them. Into constellations? Is that what this is about? This is so neat. Oh, I like that. Cute. I hope there's no like real constellations here. Like I hope I don't have to do these in a certain way. I'm not very good with constellations. Oh, cool. I made like a little house. Oh, this is the Big Dipper. Sweet. This is one that I know. This is easy. I hope the rest I've done right as well. I don't know if it's going to affect anything. I think it might just be a fun little mini game. But who knows? That's the whole thing about Angela's games is they're very intense and choices normally do matter. They affect the ending in some kind of way. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of multiple ending scenario here. Oh, they're gazing into each other's eyes. Oh, that was a really short little chapter. I liked it. Really cool. I love the like really down tempo music that's always in these games as well. It's always so nice and soothing and chill and mellow. Oh, it's so cool. All right, so we did begin. Now we're doing fall. Fall is in the season or something bad's gonna happen. Oh, still more singing. I thought that there was gonna be voice acting in this, or not voice acting, but like opportunities for me to do girl voices. Clearly not. <laughs> we get to listen to this great singing though. This is really cool. I love the way that this story is told. I love that it shifts these things into, can we go back? Oh, we can't go back though. But it's really cool that it shifts it frame by frame like this. Aw, studying together at the library. Oh, fell asleep. <laughs> and like little things are animated like the Z's above her. Oh, she's giving me the jacket. This is so cute. I really like this a lot. Oh, they're having a little sleepover. Cuddling up together. This is so adorable. Very wholesome. Uh, oh, I get to select an animal. Like which one's my favorite? I'm guessing it's the big Pusheen I'm holding. I love Pusheen. Oh yeah, cute little kitty. Oh, it's so cute. I love cats. Oh, she thinks that's funny, huh? Yeah? What's your favorite animal? Are you gonna tell me now? A pug! Oh, so cute! Little puggy. I love pugs. Oh. Oh, was it a gift? Oh, it was a gift! That's so adorable! This game is too pure. Wonderful. I hope this game doesn't break my heart somehow. Because that's the whole thing about Angela's games. Oh! We're playing baseball? Do I click? Bam! Home run! Nice. Nice job, me. Number three. Giving me a little back rub. I'm looking off in the distance though. Yeah? What's going on? Uh-oh. I'm not 
I wasn't watching her. Oh no, I wasn't watching her play bass. Oh, wait. Oh, there I am. Oh, you can drag it everywhere. That's so cool. I like that. Aw, I am there. Oh, she's blushing. This is so pure. I love it. This game is great. Laying under the stars. This is what brought us together to begin with. Oh, more constellations. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here in these parts, but I'm gonna do my darndest to make it look cool. Oh, I only have a limited number of clicks. Okay, uh, this way, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's connect these ones. Those look pretty cool. That's a cool design, right? It's like a house with a little tail, I guess. Uh, sure, this, yeah. <laughs> it's cool that there's like little mini games in this though. This is so neat. I'm sure that there's people out there who are like way more into astrology and stuff like that who are just like, you're doing it wrong, idiot. You didn't connect the dots right. That's a really easy constellation or whatever. I think the one I just did might have been Scorpio. I know that my sign is Scorpio, but I don't really know what the constellation looks like very much. I'm bad at that kind of thing. Oh, I fell asleep again. I'm such a sleepyhead. Oh, the cuddles. Oh, I scrolled right by the cuddles accidentally. So cute. This game is wonderful. It's so relaxing so far. Forget. Oh, no. It's going to happen and forget. Hopefully nothing bad. Why is this so hard? Oh, they're fighting all the time? Those must be like sound clips from movies or something like that or songs, something like that. Oh, she's talking about some complex scientific crap there. Pretty dope, pretty cool stuff. She's so smart, she's so cool, I love her hair. It's really neat. Oh man, now she's talking about some computer science shit. Dang, what a freaking whiz kid. All right, constellations, anyone like constellations? No, no one likes constellations? Or did I bring up, oh, someone else asked us about constellations, I think, and we were like, nah, we don't know anything about that stuff. We're into money. We're into the sciences that get you lots of money. Oh, geez. She's forgetting, forgetting that stuff. Forgetting the things that made her have a pure, wonderful relationship. Oh no, she's throwing out the book. We have to put it in the trash. Can we take it out? I'm taking it out. I'm leaving it out. You don't, oh, I guess you have to put it in the trash. Darn it. Oh, and she's all alone. So they must have had some big fight and they're no longer together. Why game? Why break my heart this way? It's not gonna be her obviously. Oh, it's some dude. We don't wanna be with this dude. I want to be with our cool girlfriend. Falling asleep at the library again. Uh, see you at 2.15, see ya. I'm here at the usual table. Hey, where are you, hello? Oh, she was waiting for her and she just abandoned her. So the cool girl was going off to make some cooler friends and abandoned us. That's sad. I don't like that. I'm trying to advance her life, I guess. Oh gosh, don't do it, please. Don't jump. What is going on? Oh, jeez. They're having a fight, looks like. Yep. They're angry at each other. This is so sad. I mean, it's what happens. People drift apart. Oh, do we have... We have to cut... We have to cut it. Oh, no. I don't like that at all. And scroll it up. Yucky. Makes me feel bad, dude. Oh, and the picture is melting away. It's being forgotten. It's being destroyed. That was a short and sad chapter. I didn't like that one at all. This game is so awesome though so far. I really love the way that it's told. Um, unlike the other games where there was so much dialogue, there was so much monologue going on, uh, this one has everything done obviously in like this comic strip format that's uh, very, very poignant. Uh, heal. Okay, heal's good. So are we gonna move on? I mean, that's true. You can't rely on your value being the uh, caused by someone else. If you completely rely on someone else to give you value, you're not really valuing yourself and that's not the way to go. You have to find that uh, internal value. So we're both moving on. Oh no, I'm forgetting these memories of her. All right, scrolling through. Another month is passing or another couple weeks or something. Oh, months upon months are gonna go by, I have a feeling. All right, now we're like two months later. Oh shit, what is happening here? She's 
still forgetting. She's really sad. Oh, she's cutting her hair. Okay, I see. This is sad. I don't like it being sad. March, April, May. Years, or a year, or half a year, I guess, went by. Making new friends. What's happening to our friend? I hope she didn't jump when we saw her before. Nope. Okay, good. Oh, she's like lecturing. Is she lecturing about stars? That'd be really interesting. So they're healing. They're finding their self-worth again. God, this game is so cool. I love the way that this is told. I love the music. I love the art. The art is absolutely freaking fantastic in this game. Imagine. Number five. Last chapter here. Everything's so whimsical with like the music and the art and everything. Really like it a lot. Passing through our day. Did they just walk by each other and not remember each other? Oh, I think that they noticed that they knew each other. She's remembering everything now. Like you don't have to forget bad memories because a lot of the times they do help you build a character. It's one of those things that some people can handle it, some can't. Obviously, whichever choice you make isn't the wrong choice. It's whatever's best for you. It's whatever helps you get through the day. It's whatever helps make you stronger, etc. Turn back or move on. Oh God, I have to choose. Oh man, I have to choose. Turn back or move on. I feel like we gotta move on. I feel like we've found ourselves and we're confident in ourselves. We're not dwelling on the painful memories anymore. We remember some of the good times, but it's allowed us to shape ourselves. The breakup allowed us to shape ourselves. And I feel like that's healthier. All right, move on. I'll, I'll click it, see what happens. I wonder if I can go back and, and change that choice. Five, move on. I wonder if I can see the other scenario as well. This is so awesome. Oh, gosh. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back in. Let's do Imagine. So is this all in her head? Like, maybe she's like thinking about this, like if I did run into her out in the wild, what would I do? What would my course of action be? What would be better for me? I wonder, because it is called Imagine. All right, so we are back and now, I can try the turn back option. I want to see what happens this time. All right. Oh, she grabs onto her. She says, hey, we know each other. Another chance. Oh, that's kind of happy too, though, because now instead of just becoming friends or becoming girlfriends over just a simple single thing that they had in common, now they know themselves better and they'll be able to see where the differences lie between the two of them and they'll be able to compromise more efficiently and they'll be able to also connect on a bunch of other things that they wouldn't have been able to discover if they had been together that whole time. This is actually really wonderful. I, I like this game a lot. It's really, really great. Doesn't look like there's anything else that I can do in this. So that's that, guys. That's There's This Girl. If you guys want to try this out yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description like I normally do. This game's absolutely free over on Itch.io. Again, Angela has completely blown me away with the concept and done a great job with the art, the music, and just the general atmosphere and storytelling of a game. This is so good, especially for being made in only 36 hours. That's wild to think about. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye. Sir,